A total hip replacement operation removes the damaged portions of the bone and replaces the diseased bone with parts that duplicate the ball and socket joint. The socket part of the hip joint is a cup, like cavity in your pelvis, known as the acetabulum during total hip surgery. This area is prepared and a metal shell, which fits tightly into the bone, is pressed into place. Sometimes we use screws to help secure the shell, until bone can grow into the metal implant. Inside the shell, we fit a new bearing surface. The other half of total hip surgery involves the upper leg bone, known as the femur. The head of the femur is removed or reshaped. During surgery, the center of the bone is shaped to receive the new implant. Depending on the type of bone we find in the femur, we may use a filler or grout, similar to dental cement to hold the implant in place. This cement is injected into the bone and a metal stem with a ball head is inserted into the cement. Or we may use an implant that has a special coating, which encourages the bone to grow around it. This type of implant is securely pressed into the femur. No cement is used. The length of the implant may vary, depending on the bone quality. If the bone is very strong, we may use a short stem if we use a short stem. This hip replacement operation is called hip resurfacing. The ball on this metal stem, known as the head fits into the acetabulum like this.